My name is Senator Jake Andrake, Senate District 13, Lehigh, Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain, Cedar Fort, Harriman, Highland, American Fort, all the way down to Santa Quin. Senate Bill 159 is about law enforcement data management and collection and coordination. Uh, we've got a real problem in the state of Utah. We've got multiple data management information systems and they don't communicate. They actually use, a, most of them use very different coding systems. And so, uh, like if you were to ask me how many officer involved shootings there were in the state of Utah during the month of January, I could get that information for you, but it might take me two months. And I'd have to call each law enforcement agency directly and get that information directly. So we need to do a better job of coordinating this information. The truth is we need a roadmap to do that. So. Senate Bill 159 creates that roadmap, bringing all the stakeholders together, determining what we have, what we're lacking, what we need to get to where we, we're all on the same page, what standards need to be in place, and then from that we'll be able to determine the length of time, the roadmap, if you will, uh, for implementation. My vision of success is entirely we get real-time information right when we need it in a comprehensive manner so that we can actually make effective, both on the state and the local level, effective policy. Um, it's, it's hard to know just how out of whack police uh, uh, abuse might be with inadequate or inaccurate information. So um, truth is, I think that our law enforcement officers, by and large, are doing a fantastic job. We cannot we really cannot um, champion our victories and we don't know of our faults. And that's the biggest problem is I, I think real-time information right when we need it is the goal. Right now there are four disparate uh, uh, information management systems primarily. There are many more than that, but primarily there are these four. Uh, some are good about uh, data in integration and sharing, some are not. And so one of the first things we got to do is just really assess where we're at. And then from that, where should we all get on the same page and how is that going to be accomplished? What standards need to be put in place? And then from that, we'll be able to determine the costs associated with doing that. And it's probably going to be tens of millions of dollars over the process of a couple of years. Hopefully not, but it probably will be. And then from that, we'll be able to say, okay, if we properly fund this, then by X date, we should all be on the same page with real-time information. Well, like I said before, I think that police officers by and large are doing a fantastic job. But there is absolutely no doubt when you uh, are in a, a line of work, let's say military, that attracts a very particular type of uh, ego, personality. And when you're finished with the military and you jump into law enforcement as the drawback on that, but you still act as though it's the military, you sometimes run into situations where you have abuse of power. And when you have abuse of power, we need to have a better feel and grasp of what's happening and how we can prevent it. When we are endowing these people with the ability of lethal force, we need to have our finger on the pulse of uh, making sure that it is implemented properly.